Yo, what's good? It's your boy Holy. You already know what it is. And today, I'm gonna be showing you how to get the Voyager mount. All right, step by step process. We're gonna slide through it real quick. Swift light, all the words I use in all my other mount videos. You already know what it is, man. So we're gonna start with the engine, okay? And you guys may know already, it's part of this other quest, the Navia Ecological Quest or some shit like that, uh, where you need the the frosted strawberry ice shit, the tool set, and the uh, the sizzled meat. So I'm gonna show y'all real quick that piece so y'all know how to get all of that. If you guys still need it, I'll have chapters in the video. So that way you can watch it if you need to, and you can skip it if you don't, if you already have all of that stuff from maybe previous videos. So you will need two blue gift boxes. Let me show y'all where to get those real quick. So there's two shops, I believe, that have them. Um, there's the training shop right you can buy these uh from here the fine gifts for 120 a piece there's the dust shop the crystal dust shop i believe i don't have that unlocked yet i'm still a noob but y'all know what i'm talking about so if you're a day one player and you're trying to get this shit quick right here this is the way i'm trying to tell y'all go run go run some training there's usually one or two open a day i just ran one of mine the speed training now i'm gonna go run the combat training all right so i'll show y'all what they look like on the map this is this is what you're going to look for all right they're the uh the training facilities all right the green ones are the ones that you'll be able to do so i could go do this one if i wanted to you know what i'm saying so that one's closer so that's actually what i'm going to go do okay i'm going to teleport over there and we're going to run that up real quick and i'll get some points and i'm gonna buy the uh i'm gonna buy the boxes real quick i, I ain't gonna make y'all watch all of this stuff i'm gonna just show y'all the boxes all right all right, so we finished the speed test nice and quick. Got our got our training points. So now what we're gonna do is go to the training shop and buy two of these fine gift boxes. All right, we got two of those. Good purchase, good purchase. Now we come to our inventory, we open them up, and we choose the tool set. Okay, y'all want the tool set. Don't get nothing else, otherwise you're gonna look silly. So get the tool set, that's step one. Now that you got your tool two sets from the, fuck bro, that is a tongue twister. Damn. Now that you got your two tool sets from the shop, the next thing is a as a, a frosted ice soda, strawberry. The next thing is a strawberry ice soda. So first off, we're gonna slide through the, uh, the teleporter right here. We're gonna head over to to where that cooking pot was because there's a lady there that sells the water that you need okay all right so once you get to this once you get to this teleporter you're gonna head right over to the domain the big gold gold, 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 gold thing of a bobber and she has a little stand right here and guess what she sells here bro you wouldn't, you wouldn't even guess for a second what she sells here. She sells the carbonated water that you will need. While you're here, if you got the, the extra the extra cash, you might as well buy up the stock because you never know what else you're going to need in your playthroughs here. All right, get you a few of everything. Then after that, head right across the water, right across the way over here to the, the beehive, okay? Because why? You also need two honey. You will also be needing two honey. So the bees will come out and you dog them. Guess what? honey galore because all you need is two honey for real. all you need is two so next you need strawberries now the closest waypoint that i have unlocked near strawberries okay so this teleport that we got um up here is the closest one that i have to strawberries i will i will put the interactive map in the in the description so you can also find uh you can also you know just go click strawberries and see the map of where they are uh, all spread out okay so next you're gonna need strawberries okay now, if you come to this teleporter, the Space Rift North Seven Day Forest, and you go directly west, like as you can see, I'm at about negative 574, negative 419 here on the thing. You just go directly west to close to this training facility. These little trees right here have a bunch of strawberries for you to grab. All right. And you just grab these strawberries and then you head to your, your nearest, your nearest and dearest cooking pot, which for us, would probably be closer to teleporting back over there to where our little old lady friend was. Actually, I think there's one kind of close to this tower. We're gonna go to the Omnium Tower back in Astra. Okay, now if we jump straight down here, there should be a cooking pot right there. 
So when we get to the cooking pot, or what are we chefing up today? We going we gonna click creation. We gonna go on two honey. We gonna throw on two strawberry. We gonna throw on a bunch of water to max it out. All right, that'll get us our frosted strawberry ice. Now the other thing that you're gonna want to cook is the sizzling meat. All right, right here you automatically have this one unlocked. All you need to do is like go kill some bears or some rabbits or something to get some meat, and and then you cook it and you get the sizzling meat right so now you should have the ice the strawberry ice shit and the uh the sizzling meat all right and the two or the, the two tool sets okay so the tool sets sizzling meat ice strawberry tea soda whatever now when you teleport you're going to want to come to the space rift signal station ruins all right you hit that southwest teleporter in the banjis region all right what you're going to want to do from here is head on over to the oil rig which will be out in the middle of the ocean all right it's kind of rainy so you can't see it right now but you got to trust me bro you got to trust me it's out there if this is day one also i don't believe that you'll have your surfboard yet so if you do want to wait that is fine but you can see the oil rig right out there i will uh i will talk to y'all when we get there so here we are at the <laughs> at the oil rig i'm gonna wait it's uh it's right over here on the end on the edge of this island all right so you just fly right on over there and you're not going to be allowed on yet you'll see there's a barrier around it here in a second maybe it won't show the barrier but you can't you can't just go up there as far as i know right yeah there's the barrier so this hyena guard you're going to want to talk to him let him know you with the hyenas bro you wanted him simple as that like bro i'm just trying to get in there and he said, yo, I'm waiting for the homie. He's a, he's a guard at the Banji's port. That's, that's the piece of information that you needed. So you just pick the first option a couple times, right? You let them know you a hyena and you say you just, you curious, but you're trying to look around, right? Boom, I'm with the, I'm going through it one more time. I'm with the hyenas and I just want to look. I just want to get in there and have a look. That's it, choose the first option twice. After you're done talking with dude, you're going to want to head over to the Banji's port, yes. The Banji's dock waypoint. All right, slide over there real quick. Homie wants to talk to you real quick. Once you're here, you want to run over to Pizza Hut. Okay. Talk to the homie Lawswall. Lawswall is gonna say, "What? What can I do for you, bro?" You ask him about the base. He gonna give you some info. He captured a sneaky hyena. Okay. So now we got a code. And guess what? Now that we got the code, guess where we going? Right back over to the oil rig. Stop playing, y'all. This is nice, swift, quick. But all the words I use at the beginning of the video, bro. All, the, all of those words. You're, you're gonna move th through this with swiftness, promptness, and efficiency. Once you see this video. To the point, you're gonna be like, okay, I need this. I got this. I'm going to get this. All right. So we're going back to the oil rig. This time, we're gonna pick I'm trying to be the most liberal hyena. And then he says, what are you doing here for the most liberal hyena, bro? And then he says, correct. You know why? Because we knew the code. I'm the most liberal hyena. So guess what we can do now? We're inside. We are now inside. We climb up this little thing thing right here. Okay. I'll have, I'm going to just wait for the jetpack. Matter of fact, I can just climb up this. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. We pop up here. We open the chest. Bada the bing, bada the boom. We get the Omnium Beast cockpit. What I tell y'all. It seemed like a long process, but I promise it is. Oh, check this out. I'm about to run, th run it through y'all real quick. All right, so we're gonna start with the Voyager engine. So for that, the first place you're gonna go is teleport up here to the Rain Collar Island. All right, so I'm gonna head up there real quick and then I'll meet back up with y'all uh, once I get that, that waypoint. All right, so we've gotten the rain collar island shit. So now we have to go to the rain collar island oil rig, all right, which is out there. So we're gonna head over to that oil rig real quick and then we'll move on with the quest from there. Also, the best way to get there most likely uh, is to go to the highest point of this mountain up here. I'm gonna grab some strawberries while I'm up here. Don't even trip y'all. You gotta, gotta, gotta collect when you can. All right, now that we are here, 
now that we are here we will talk to the hyena guard let them know you're here for the hyenas carnival tell them it's the hyena queen and tell them it's the seventh hyenas carnival because that's what the guard told us back in the day all right and of course the heirs of ada are our targets bro come on we in there so slick just like that just like that we've infiltrated the hyenas bro look at them over there dancing having a good time sleeping playing rock paper scissors rock paper scissors slap i ain't never seen nobody play it like that before you lose you get popped that's crazy now now while you're here now while you're here since we already made the frosted iced tea thing yep the strawberry soda you might as well go ahead and give it to morgley you know what i'm saying so slide it slide it on over to morgley he gonna take it he gonna give you some console repair shit all right but that's not all that's not all you wanna you wanna hop up hop up hop up you know what i'm saying glide on up to the homie up here you know what he wants that sizzling meat you made you know what i'm saying and you know what he got for that sizzling meat that you got bro here here's your sizzling meat bro come through open the treasure boom you get the voyager engine that's why we're here bro that's why we're here so that's what you needed the sizzling meat and shit for you got the voyager engine you're set you're good to go all right next on the list next on the list is the voyager hole all right so for the voyager hole we're just going to continue with the storyline with the quest line that we're doing here and by the end of it we'll get that last piece all right after you give homie the sizzling meat there's a few power plants that you're going to have to cook up touch up on repair so that way that they're uh they're good to go so you're gonna head back to rain collar island for the first one and boom that's the first power plant right up there so when you when you come back to this teleport waypoint you can see the the, the thing that's red right there that's one of the power that's one of the power plants so we're gonna get we got to go up there and uh and repair it but we've made it to the first power plant and from this one you can see the second and third one right there and right there uh they are the red ones don't go to the blue one because the blue one is already good to go so we we come to the power plant we climb the ladders like normal people we get inside and we uh enter the password the password for the rain caller one is five nine seven two all right so that one activates it wait do i have to push it again okay make sure you push it before you walk away after you put in the code Boom, activated. All right, so now this one is blue. So now we gotta go to the other two. You repair the consumables. So this is why you got this is why you got the tool sets. So you see this, you repair this. And then you repair this. Boom. Um, let me make sure there's none outside that I missed. Oh, there's some outside. Okay. Make sure you repair all of these. All right. So it looks like there's three of them total. Okay. And now you can activate it. Cool. So this one would be considered, I guess, the, uh, the Southern one. And that one up there would be the Eastern one. You have West, South, East. So you do the Western one, Southern one. You have to activate those thingamabobbers and then you hit the Eastern one and, uh, it'd be all good. So we're going to go hit the Eastern one real quick. But that's why you needed the tool sets that we talked about earlier. Now we're gonna head up there to get that last one. We have fixed the components. That's why we gave the dude the, uh, the ice strawberry soda. And boom, bada bing, bada boom. Activated. All right, so now that all three of those are activated, the nice cool little thing gonna come up out the ground and you're gonna see a bunch of chestuses. Boom, right there, look. We activated everything. Now we head over there. This right here unlocks the park for us, bro. Look at the look at the nice park up there. I ain't never seen nothing like that before, I know. And now that we're here, there's some chests. And inside of one of these chests, we open this one. And right here in the middle, in the special supply pod, we got the, the mount piece. I don't know. Hold on. Yeah. So one of those four had had the, the Voyager hole in it. Just open all four of them. You're there anyway. Might as well. Now in the special supply pod, you will also unlock the SSR relic, Colossus arm. 
kind of cool so it's a it's a quick way to get a uh, easy relic for the voyager control room i'm you would you would use this waypoint the southern mountains waypoint but since i don't have it i'm just going to go to the banji shelter and run up northeast all right so for the next piece you're going to want to teleport to the southern mountains um this is for the control room piece all right you run east hop on your mount go east do whatever you're going to do there's a code with a with a chest in it the code is three five nine four okay three five nine four all right um you have another another time gated get uh time gated chest but that is where that piece is the control panel the control room whatever that is where you get that from um so future reference it will be right about here on the map so from that waypoint from the southern mountains waypoint southeast next to the uh small stronghold directly to the southeast of that all right now for the last piece which is the voyager thruster it's another rng piece all right they gotta have they gotta throw some rng into the mix right you gotta throw some rng into the mix all right so for this next piece I will put a picture on the screen. You will have to kill the four powers in order to have a chance at receiving. I can never remember what these pieces of these vehicles are called, bro. The Voyager Thruster, okay? So the first one, you're gonna wanna teleport to this waypoint up here. Okay, we're gonna be going all the way up to the corner of the map over here. And this is where one of the one of the four powers is, all right? Directly north of that first waypoint. It's that big guy right there in that robot suit. We gonna pull up on him. And just like, all right, so that's one. Then we go back to the waypoint. And this time we're going straight south. They're all pretty close together. I'm not gonna hold you. Except for one of them. One of them is kind of like on the other side. But other than him, they're all kind of like in a straight line from north to south. So you kill that one up north. It's the closest one. The one that's south is kind of about the same distance, I say. So you get the waypoint, you turn, this time you're going south. All right, this time you're going south. So I'm gonna fly across this. All right. Now this is Smalley, the other four powers member. So we, we clean them up. They have a chance to drop it too. And we keep going south because guess what? There's gonna be another one straight south. We don't teleport again yet. Okay, on top of this mountain, the next one. So there's one there, right? And then there's one on this mountain right here. So you clear him out, you have another chance at getting it. So that's three of them. So you got one here. One over there, um, and then one is on that side. So you do want to teleport to the Omnium Tower. It's actually going to be right next to that bridge. You see that bridge that was just in front of me? It's actually going to be right next to that bridge. So from the Omnium Tower, you should have a pretty nice glide down to the to the spot that this one is at. All right, so from here, we're going to go about to this area right here. So we jump. Yeah, he's right next to that bridge down there. Nice little glide. Land, hop on the mount. And then, boom, the last four powers guy. The homie Cinders. All right. So those are the four that you're gonna wanna farm in order to get the uh that last piece you just kill them over and over until you finally get lucky enough to get the thruster all right so that's where all the pieces are for the voyager mount um i think we just have the dust wheeler left and that will be a video for all the mounts so i appreciate y'all for watching i hope that you guys enjoy i probably have a playlist with how to get all the mounts in it so make sure y'all check that out I appreciate y'all for watching. It's been your boy Holius, like always, man. I'm out this bitch.